Only on Fox 40, call it high tech hijacking. Thieves can now steal your credit card information, all of it, without ever laying a hand on your wallet. It's new technology being used in credit and debit cards, and it's leaving nearly 140 million people at risk for something called electronic pickpocketing. Bendisi tested it out. Take a look at what he found. If the question is, what's in your wallet, the surprising answer is, lots of people don't really know. Sure you don't have one more card in there? <laughs> and if there is a secret in your wallet, wait until you hear what can be taken out of your wallet without you ever knowing, without your wallet ever leaving your pocket or purse. So I got your, it looks like a Wells Fargo Visa card. I mean, that is kind of crazy. Meet Walt Augustinowitz. It used to be a pickpocket needed some serious skill and quick fingers to raid your bread drawer. But all a guy like Walt needs is this. See? Looks like a cell phone. But instead, it's a scanner. A scanner that can read the information off credit cards. Even the security badge you use to get into work from inches away. If you're walking through a crowd where you literally have hundreds of people to choose from, you're going to get enough cards. I mean, you could live pretty good on just scanning these cards. To find out how good, we hit Arden Fair Mall in Sacramento. But there were a few differences between us and the bad guys. We asked permission and explained what we were doing first before we scanned anybody's purse or pockets. Wave by your wallet or by your purse and suddenly get your credit card number. Oh, wow. Mind if we try the same thing? Yeah. And Walt set up his scanner so it vibrates, buzzes when we get it hit. It's that quick. A real thief wouldn't do that. But he'd be getting the same things we're getting card numbers, expiration dates, even the three or four digit security codes on the back. What we're looking for is a card with a radio frequency ID built in, an RFID chip. A symbol like this usually means you have one, and it makes swiping cards easier in both senses of the word. The stores like the fact that they could move people through the line quicker, and they were willing to try it out, and people seemed to spend more money with it. So that seemed to be the driving factor, but there was this huge security hole right from the beginning. Augustinowitz is an inventor with one heck of a sales pitch. He's selling your own money to you, at least a way to keep it safe. He's designed sleeves and wallets and swipe card holders that block the scammers with scanners. This type of thing, uh, to my knowledge, we haven't had that yet. Steve Reed is the head of security at Arden Fair Mall. We showed him how electronic pickpocketing works. That's scary. <laughs> That's yeah. scary. He said it's something mall security will be thinking about this holiday season as things get busy. We had 104,000 people here uh, on Black Friday. We had 90,000 people the day after Christmas. So you're going to have people in, in, in close quarters and close proximity. The scanner Augustinowitz uses is disguised as a cell phone, but he says a real cell phone. Your cell phone can be programmed to do the same thing. If you just go to the app store and happen to download the wrong app, well, a scanner can be installed right on your phone. If you put that phone next to a credit card, then put it in your pocket, suddenly your credit information is being beamed anywhere in the world. But it's not just credit cards using the RFID technology. Remember that swipe card hanging around your neck, the one that gets you into the building where you work? Just look around next time you're out for a walk and count how many of those you see, because that's what a thief might be doing, too. So we gave Walt Augustinowitz a mission. Could he crack the security at a state of California building somewhere in Sacramento? For this one, we needed help, an observer. We met Assemblyman Roger Dickinson at a locked door and gave Walt five minutes. He's using the same technology he used to read credit cards. Everything here he made with parts anyone could buy at an electronics store. I give it a try. Okay. See if it just wave it like yours. Yeah, that works. We interact with people all the time, every day. That's our that's our job, uh, and so I think we're perhaps somewhat less concerned about our own security uh, than per the people uh, around us, the, the CHP, the sergeants. And whether it's building security or financial security, it's clear that the market for cards loaded with bogus information is flourishing. Just ask the store clerk who we met during our experiment. She said she could just tell. 
Sometimes when somebody comes in with a gift card or several, it's not on the level. Yes, without getting caught, yes. And then if one doesn't work, they say, try this one, try this one, try this one. They have a lot of them, and they do it over and over and, and over. And again. it's like a sure sign that someone's someone's got like a bogus yeah, card. Yeah, sometimes OP, they already know that guy does it, and they'll be like, okay, just say it, and it doesn't work. Even if it doesn't work some of the time, all it takes is one card in 10 or even 20. And card, now... And boom, as soon as that light flashes, this is a clone. Imagine if that card is yours. That was Ben DC reporting for us tonight. In 2007, California passed a law that makes it illegal to scan someone's RFID or radio frequency identification card without their consent.